Hi everyone, we are the University of Saskatchewan Space Design Team. We are a student engineering club that focuses on space related projects and we are pleased to introduce our 2018 Mars rover. Our team is made up of 30 members split between three sub-teams, mechanical, electrical and software. The carbon fiber chassis will be covered by composite and fabric panels that ensure that the electronics inside the chassis are protected from all environmental concerns. The wheel design consists of aluminum spokes and rims wrapped with a polyurethane tread that is stiffened by carbon fiber. The large grousers on it enable the rover to climb soft sandy hills that are found near the MDRS, as well as traverse a wide range of rough and rocky terrain. The suspension is a triple bogey design built in-house out of carbon fiber tubes. The suspension is 25% larger than last year for increased stability on slopes. At the same time, overall mass of the suspension was reduced by 27%. This year's arm design is a 5 degree of freedom arm that is built from carbon fiber panels and aluminum tubing and is controlled by linear actuators and harmonic gearboxes. To power our rover, we run a battery composed of lithium iron phosphate cells supplying us with sufficient power to run our motors and all peripheral devices. Tested in the field, our battery has proven it can sustain Apple battery life for over 3 hours. Our rover is driven by six brushless DC motors, which move at a wide range of speeds and has considerable torque to climb steep hills and traverse an assortment of difficult terrain. Meticulously researched, we chose these for their reliability and high performance. Our ground station communicates with our rover via an antenna operating at 5.8 GHz, giving us access to a reliable transmission. It's already been well tested in the past and also allows us to stream high definition camera and video feeds with ample bandwidth. For the sake of reliability, we also have a backup 900MHz antenna installed. For operating the rover manually, we use an Oculus Rift VR headset. The full 360 degree video sphere gives the operator a maximum situational awareness, which is vital when performing tasks where precision matters. When controlling the robotic arm, the Z stereoscopic camera gives the operator depth perception, making object manipulation much easier. This year's arm and end effector design is capable of efficiently retrieving, manipulating, and storing a variety of objects up to 5 kilograms. The rover suspension is capable of traversing difficult terrain including rocks, boulders, as well as the soft sands that are common in Utah. The continuous rotation of the end effector will play a key role in the extreme retrieval and recovery task, allowing us to carefully position objects at the end of the arm. We use an Xbox controller and VR goggles with a stereoscopic camera to intuitively control the arm. We have built a mock equipment surfacing panel to test the operations of the arm, end effector, control system and cameras. The arm is able to successfully complete a variety of tasks including typing, flipping switches, turning cranks and undoing Molex connectors. A major design focus this year was testing and continuous integration to find and fix any software bugs early in the development cycle. We are utilizing the VREP Robotics Simulator to test our software systems to ensure they are functioning properly while the physical components of the rover were being constructed. To make interaction with rover subsystems as natural as possible, we developed an interactive web interface using VU.js that can display navigational information and real-time statistics on rover performance. We focused on three areas of development for the autonomous traversal task. We wanted accurate and reliable GPS and sensor data and achieved this using state-of-the-art sensors and sensor fusion technology. To handle obstacle avoidance, Stereo Labs Z camera is utilized for their depth reception capabilities, giving us a detailed look of what's ahead. Finally, to account for tennis ball detection, an open source product known as OpenMV was chosen for its impressive performance compared to its low cost. This year's two-stage drill design is able to separately collect temperature and humidity readings as well as 24 centimeter stratified soil samples using a sterilized drill bit. The in-situ experiment for this year's rover design is based on an infrared reflectance spectroscopy system. This is done using a laser diode running at 1550 nanometers. The incident light is absorbed and partially re-emitted by the molecules in the soil. Due to the rough surface of the soil, this reflectance is quite diffuse, so we needed to develop a custom lens tube system to focus the light to a fine point on our detector. This tube was designed so that we have fine adjustment of the lenses so that we can fix the alignment on site. The detector used for this experiment is a lead selenium photoconductor. This will allow us to search for indicators of organic material. Thank you for watching. We are looking forward to competing at the University Rover Challenge.